Hello everybody. Christmas is just around the corner, so I thought it would be a nice challenge to try to build a fully cross-platform Christmas countdown application using Uno platform and C Sharp and try to do this in less than five minutes. Is this possible? We will see. All right, I am ready, so I will start the clock and let's get started. So I'll open Visual Studio, create a new project and it's going to be Uno platform app. I will call it Christmas countdown and let's select blank template a C sharp markup create. So once it creates, I will write jump right into the code. So here in the main class library, I will open main page CS and in there I will create a dispatcher queue timer which is going to be our timer, then text block, which is going to be the countdown. And now uh, I need to add our background image for the app. So I will paste it here into assets folder. Uh, so we need to replace the default background with a new image a brush, which is going to be uh, if so, oh, right. Uh, which is going to be an image source, but it's not going to be like this. So I will need to adjust this code. Uh, so it's going to be Christmas countdown assets uh, background JPEG. So that's, that's correct and stretch uniform to fill. Now for the content, I will delete this and do countdown equals new text block and set some properties so font size of uh, around 48 and then foreground of uh, colors white let's do font weight as well so it's going to be font weights uh, of bold then uh, text alignment which is going to be microsoft saml.ui.saml uh, text alignment of center. Now I need also horizontal alignment of center and vertical alignment of center. I think that's all I need. So now we have the basic UI built up and now the timer will be equal to dispatcher. You uh, create timer, right? Uh, so create timer. Now timer interval will be equal to time span. I will do 500 milliseconds. And now timer on tick and also start the timer. So now this I will generate the method. So the method will look like this. So I will have uh, Christmas time. Uh, so it's going to be the Christmas time then. All right, uh, it's frozen here. So we're remaining. Uh, yes, this is exactly what I need. And if uh, there is less than uh, zero, uh, zero seconds remaining, then I will uh, do Merry Christmas, stop the timer. And then if not, then I will display the countdown. So uh, I will make this multi line. So make it be like this. So I'll make it like this. And now to make this really a multi-line, I will do environment of new line and copy this, this in here. And we are done, I think. So let's run the app. And if everything went well, I think we can, we will be able to see that timer. Let's see. And here's our timer. I will stop the clock. So in less than five minutes, we were able to build a fully functional uh, countdown timer uh, for Christmas. So that's pretty fun. All right. So let's now test this timer on other platforms as well so that we can prove it's 
uh, actually fully cross-platform. So I will run it on WebAssembly. So here's our application running on WebAssembly and we can even run it as PWA. So this is the same application running as a PWA application. Now I'll launch this on GTK. So this will run it on a Linux distribution installed on my PC. So using Windows subsystem for Linux, I will run it in Ubuntu. So it's the same application running on Linux uh, using WSL. So you could deploy it to Linux as well. And let's do maybe Android as well because we want to see it running on a mobile device. So I will pick this tablet device. And here it is. So our Christmas countdown application running on Android uh, on a mobile device. So yeah, this is this was uh, building a fully cross-platform application running on all devices. I could launch it. I okay, can try to launch it on uh, iOS as well, just to see. I need to connect to my Mac here. And here it is. So that's our Christmas countdown running on iOS. So there we have it. In less than five minutes, we were able to build a fully functional cross-platform application using Uno Platform and C Sharp. Uh, and that application now runs on Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, Linux, and even the web using WebAssembly. And that's pretty amazing, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed creating it. And I encourage you to try it out yourself so you can download Uno Platform and follow our documentation to try to create this application yourself and then share your own uh, Christmas countdown application with your friends and family to spread that Christmas joy everywhere. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or even subscribe if you want to get notified about future videos. And I want to wish you Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and amazing year of 2024. And I will see you in the next video.